everyone, my name is Ben. I am the founder of Boring Crypto and I am a committee member here at JPEG DAO. This video is centered around an introduction to JPEG DAO. I've done a couple of videos that have touched on different aspects, but I want to do a little bit more of a deep dive, explain a little bit more about the project in this video so that you have an understanding of what it's trying to create and whether you want to be part of it. Before I get involved in that, I must say, whenever I touch on anything that involves tokens or investments or hodling or anything like that, you must understand I'm not a financial advisor. In fact, I'm probably the last person that you should have any kind of financial advice from in the world. Yeah, I'm a passionate crypto student. I have been in the space four and a half years and I've had some significant wins and losses and things that have happened in between. I've got some experience, that experience has led to some wisdom and with that wisdom I hope to pass that over to you and help you navigate the crypto space with the least amount of friction. That's my goal, that's what I've set Boring Crypto for. So please don't take anything I say as anything other than a trigger for you to go and do your own research. It's all for information purposes only. And as always, if you like my content, please hit the uh, the like and give me a comment underneath because it's always great to hear from you, the community. Uh, and if you are really buzzed up about it, then by all means, uh, hit that subscribe and the bell notification and you'll get future releases from myself direct to your inbox. With that said, let's get cracking. Um, this is like a landing page of the JPEG DAO when we first arrive on the website and we can put in our email here. This email is going to enable us to get monthly updates of exactly what's going on within the DAO. One of the community members is going to uh, construct a, uh, an email newsletter and that's going to be whipped out straight into your inbox and you can get details. So whether you actually want to get involved or maybe you just want to kind of check it out for the next couple of months and see what's happening, then fill that in and away you go. What I would say is, and there's going to be people out there that say, well, a DAO, that's not decentralized. There's going to be a centralized database for all that email collecting. Absolutely correct. The DAO is an ongoing process okay it's work in process to put all of those different pieces of the jigsaw together so that we get to that point where we can be one of the shining beacons of light in terms of the DAO on the stellar network if we just scroll down here if we click off this we now have the website and you can see here the website is under construction you know this is not something we're embarrassed of this is not something we're hiding from anyone at all the fonts you know that the the menus the headings are all being worked on by someone out there in the community that probably has a family probably has a day job right and they're doing this in their part time because of the love of working together and to create something of substance right so it's not something we should be ashamed of it's something that we should say oh i know how to develop websites as well i'm willing to come in and work and put these things right and get some crypto i'm going to show you exactly how you can do that shortly so as i said it's the it's kind of like being um proud of our scars does that make sense proud of them yeah of who we are and what we're trying to develop rather than thinking oh look at us we're so perfect we're so great we know we're work in progress we want you to look at us with that in mind and say i think i've got skills that i can bring to the table Next up, let's just have a little look at what this DAO is. I see people, you know, that are friends of mine. When I say DAO, they look at me like, a DAO? Isn't that one of them things they use in woodwork and they knock it to make cabinets? So I say, not a DAO, a DAO? And they like just go glazed over. So let's break that down. What is a DAO? A DAO or Distributed Autonomous organization you go like oh god it feels like being at school again don't worry it's really easy to understand it aspires to manage all decisions through automated processes and votes recording on a public blockchain ledger in reality a DAO is a community with no hierarchy driving towards goals and utilizing blockchain to execute major decisions even that's a bit of a tongue twister to me well, even that's a bit of a tongue twister, right? So let's break this down. In society, out there in the big wide world, we have these institutions, corporations, etc., with boards of directors, with CEOs and people sat at the top of the pecking order. The rest of the grunts are the, the minions. They're doing all the graft and they're making the decisions. It's a top-down process. We say you do. That's it. Now, with a DAO, a DAO wants to reverse that and say, well, all of the community here should have a voice. And not just a voice, 
but they should be able to contribute because some of those people are brilliant artists. Some of those people are people like myself that love to do videos and voice notes. Some of those people there are great leaders, uh, are great marketers and you know innovators and all this kind of thing, but they do it like part-time. So maybe we you know, pull in from that pool of talent and grow something 10 times better than it could ever be with a very small uh, controlling force at the top of the pyramid. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So with this, the token holders and those on the committees that want to be on the committees and that want to be the co contributors will be making the decisions. There's no limit on the amount of people that can be in here. None at all. If you feel that you've got some skills that we could really use, please, by all means, come and speak to us. I will point you in the direction of the form, which is in the show notes. Yeah, go and have a look in the show notes and you can apply there to be part of the community and also to get a grant so that you can go off and you can build within our area of expertise. Yeah, so you can actually get some funding and you can contribute. This is pretty cool, right? Okay. So I hope that's kind of shone a little bit of a light into what is a DAO. I'd also say that a way that we can do this in the future, because I want to chuck my two penny worth into this video. It is, after all, on boring crypto and it's my perspective, okay? I think the way that we could do this in the future is to have certain token holders say, well, I'm going to come up with an idea. Not just an idea that I'm going to float on out there on the Discord, but I'm going to come up with an idea on the DAO platform. I'm going to put an idea out and if it gets a significant weight of positive staking by token holders, then that will get implemented. And when I say implemented, I mean what we can do is we can actually action the treasury to fund that because the vast majority of the people in the community want to see the DAO incorporate it. Now, it might mean that we can get the skills from within our pool of talent, from the people within the DAO, within the community. But we might also have to go outside. We might have to say, we need this designer or this web developer. You know, we need these specialist skills. So we can get the funding for that and we can go off and we can source whatever skill set we need to get the job done. And it can be you, it can be me, it could be any member that comes up with this. At the moment, we're using a Discord, right? We're using the Discords to have, you know, low-level conversations and kind of, you know, just general kind of chit-chat and debate and this kind of thing. And then if there's something that sticks, we're moving that through to a decision-making process with one of the committees. There are several committees and there is no limit again to the committees. If you think we should have this committee or this committee, by all means, come bring that to us, explain the reasoning behind it and the rationale, and that could well be set up. Do you see how this isn't just a, this isn't a um, kind of static box. We are, you know, it's like liquid. We are moving, we are, you know, uh, evolving at every day. We're incorporating things every day, which is fantastic because for those creatives amongst us, we can think, what, where's the limitation of what we can do here? There isn't a limitation. So just to touch on the four different types of um, committees that we have at the moment, there's the art committee. So this is the selection yeah, of different and activation of different artists from inside Stella and external. You know, some of the things that I do is go off and just look at different NFTs on different networks. I kind of think, wow, that's amazing. Look at the person who um, who created that artwork and then maybe drop them a DM or a comment underneath their post and say, that's really a, you know, a fantastic piece of art. I really appreciate that. Thank you for creating it. Thank you for sharing it. Um, I'm, you know, partially involved in like a, a, a an NFT project that's you know growing and it's going to be massive in 2022 do you fancy a conversation about how you can kind of contribute to it sometimes they're like no i'm happy here you know on ethereum or elsewhere that's great no worries i just still appreciate what you're doing and other times they're like yeah cool like you know send me some information so that's kind of how i do it. but i love networking it's one of my things i love talking to people i love trying to break complex topics down that's just what i do Give me anything technical like development or anything, you know, like coding. And I, it's like Greek to me. So I'm doing that. But do you see how that's an integral piece of that jigsaw? So that's the um, the art. Um, that's the art uh, committee. Then we have the marketing. The marketing is pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? It's about saying, well, how do we actually get more people to be aware 
of what we're doing. Uh, do we use social media channels? Do we use content marketing, problem solving? Do we do competitions? All of that sort of stuff. If you're into marketing and you know, you've got some specialist skills, it might be that you're a fantastic TikToker, for example. It might be that you are a content marketer, you work for an agency. If you've got any of them skills, they're always really you know, highly valued. I come from a marketing background and I absolutely love talking marketing. Then we've got innovation. And Again, my perspective, I feel innovation needs to be split into two. We have the innovation in terms of what I was talking about, the, um, the software side, by the coding side. So, you know, you are voting for a, you know, an upgrade or a change or a pivot in, in the project. And we need to implement how does that actually work? How do we stake tokens and all that kind of stuff? And also the metaverse, of course. You know, this is something else that we're touching on. Uh, just at the moment, I mean, we're going to go headlong into it in 2022. But at the moment, we're touching on how can it work? You know, can we create a, a gallery to showcase artists that are working within the DAO? And people can come and there's some kind of gateway. So they have to have a certain amount of tokens or an NFT to enter the gallery, to view all of the gallery. They may see some pieces of artwork they would like for home. Behind me here, oh, this way. Sorry, this way. You can see that I have a couple of NFTs up on my wall currently in digital canvases. I respect different artists and I'm always looking, thinking, you know, do I fancy buying this or buying that? Not just for a flipping, not just to make money, but also to put up on my walls in my different rooms of my home. Uh, there are others like me, you know, rather than having the physical art now, you know, digital art we can keep refreshing is very, very attractive. So you know, with the metaverse side, there's a lot that we can start exploring there. And we can also do, I mean, where does art stop and what, where, where, where are the, you know, there's, it's infinite possibility, isn't it? Uh, what we can create, whether it's architecture of the actual building, you know, whether it's um, video content that's in there and educational content, we can have animated characters in there teaching us how to do something. The, 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 the limitations, well, there are no limitations. So whatever you've got in your head can almost be taken out of that idea and put into JPEG DAO uh, metaverse in the future. That's how exciting this is. Moving on, we've also got the treasury. For me, um, that's you know a, a key aspect because that provides the funding. It gives me the funding right, for making this video. It gives the web developer the funding for spending time correcting those glitches and bits and pieces that we've got there. It also allows the artists yeah, funding. And you think, when do artists ever get paid before they sell a piece of art? Well, they get paid here. Because if they create a piece of art for the DAO, they're contributing to the greater good. They will get rewarded for that piece of art that they've created. And because they're getting rewarded, they're getting rewarded before the point of it even going into a gallery or getting sold or even getting known about because they're getting paid up front. Same as me getting paid for this video. And I thought, well, you know, I can just make videos anyway, or I can actually receive a reward for making these videos and, you know, going out there and marketing JPEG DAO. It's my passion. I love making these videos, as you can probably tell. So, you know, for me, it's an absolute no-brainer. Uh, so those are the four main um categories of committees if i go to the discord you will see that we've got this uh, text block here which basically um summarizes the uh, dao pretty well okay welcome to the jpeg dao our mission is simple provide our members with amazing nft experiences we execute on this mission through a distributed autonomous organization or dao we've touched on that DAOs may sound daunting but really they are simply a collaborative group of people who use blockchain to manage major decisions to become a member of our club and receive free nfts and potentially discounted nfts and nft education buy 10,000 jpeg tokens we also invite you to help build our club, come into the community and contribute. I've touched on this numerous times now already in this video. Please share a bit about yourself and how you would like to help in the general chat. A member of our DAO will reach out and get you plugged in. And then there's the website, Twitter, Keybase, and official token asset issuer. And we've got the uh, uh, public Discord channels. We've got the general, the development, art, governance, marketing, random, and crypto link. And you can see them here. So we start here and then we can see the different 
channels that we've got. And as we move down, we've got like the innovate channel, the create channel, the governance channel, and we've got some voice channels here. Uh, and at the bottom, we've got these private committees that I've mentioned, the innovation, we've got the marketing. I would like to um, say that there's going to be really two sides of the innovation. This is how I see it, by the way, okay, being a contributing member of the community and not the combined voice. Remember, I'm only a small part of the wider project. But the way I see it is the innovation breaks down into two. We have the innovation in terms of the development, so the software and how we vote and all the stuff, you know, and making the website nice and getting the DAO up and running in terms of governance, token ownership, how we can do, you know, a um, automated drop of NFTs and all of that kind of stuff. And then we also have the innovation of how do we use these NFTs? One of the things I brought to the table yesterday, um, let's have a look, see if I can actually find it. Uh, I can't remember what chat was in now. Was it in the... Maybe it's in marketing. Let's have a look. See if I can find where I put it. Um, um, or innovation, maybe. Innovation public, maybe it's here. Uh, let's have a look up. Uh, yeah, so I would really love to see utility next year. So this is me now, okay, so commenting. I would really love to see utility. Don't get me wrong, I love NFT drops. Yeah, for holding JPEG. But I think to get serious traction, utility of those NFTs is a great turning point. Maybe it borders on the general, yeah, the general chat or, or marketing, not innovation. But I think like a simple matching pirate game where two JPEG holders are matched together um, and then they must find each other and work together to receive X reward. Possibly a drop that has a QR code that begins an online treasure hunt. Maybe we divide the top four types or the, the drop into four different types. So there's, you know, the reds, the orange, the greens, and the blues, for example. Uh, and then you need the others to make the full set. And when you've got the full set, then that triggers some kind of monthly reward or something like that. Um, we've got the celebrity artist death match, which uh, I mentioned on Twitter today. Don't worry, no one dies here. You are safe. <laughs> um, but I mean that we burn, if we just look behind me, uh, yeah, you can see the two NFTs on the wall. Uh, it would be good to go artist versus artist on the Stellar Network. So the community vote on which one wins and then the one gets burnt. One gets burnt, but we vote with a certain amount of JPEG tokens. So we go to a certain wallet for that one, a certain wallet for that one. Whoever has the most balance at the end, then maybe that one will win. But the balance in the other wallet gets sent off to maybe help someone in you know, a developing nation with their art project or trying to expose art in developing nations. I think that could be really, really powerful. Um, and lastly, we could have a drop with some random NFT, uh, some merch. So we could have the NFT and that NFT within, let's just say there's 200 drop. If there's a 200 drop of NFTs, three of those have a special um, merch little tag or something on them so that you also can then claim a box of JPEG DAO merch because we all love merch, right? And even if we're not going to wear it ourselves, when we when we receive it, we can take pictures of it. And that is social promotion material for us at JPEG DAO. So I was just chucking some ideas there you know, thinking that as next year progresses, you know, that from my side, from marketing side um, is, you know, how kind of my brain works. I want to innovate the use case of these NFTs, not just the how do we make the software, how do we make the code, how do we make the automation, how do we make the governance and all of that side of that stuff work. I, I, I like that, but it's not my passion. My passion is, okay, well, I'm getting this NFT and my community, my boring crypto community are like, well, what are NFTs used for? I'm like, well, you can do that sort of stuff behind me and you can hang them up and some are yield bearing and we can use them for access points and we can use them for identity verification. I could go on and on and on about what you can use NFTs for, but, but I really want to make it where they're fun and engaging. And when you get them, you can do stuff with them, right? It's not just a case of, oh, look at my gallery. I've got masses of you know, uh, NFTs in there. I want to go and have a look at it every day. So chances are we're not going to be going on every day looking at all those NFTs we bought, we, but... If they were providing us with some sort of utility, could be the entrance to the metaverse, it could be, you know, that we've got them in the gallery in the metaverse or whatever, then we add different angles and all of a sudden people come to the project and they want to start interacting both on a token sense 
and an NFT sense. Yeah, so they want to be using the JPEG token and NFTs. And when this happens, when this utility happens, for me, that's when the project really gets some traction. So you can see here, that's just my idea. Yeah, I'm no greater or lesser than anyone else. I'm just a contributor to the greater good of the project. So I thought maybe if someone likes that idea um, and, you know, we want to implement any of those ideas, then we can sit around and we can kind of thrash it out and see how it works, which I think is a great way of doing it, isn't it? Because my idea is just the rough diamond that's been pulled out of the ground. I won't even call it a diamond. It makes it sound as though I'm blowing smoke up my own ass. But I'm pulling a, a piece of rock um, out of the dirt and then we don't know there's a diamond in there until we all get round and we chop it up and we knock the corners off and we polish it up and we see that it's a five carat diamond and it's going to really help the project take hold but that takes the whole community to come together and to add their little bit onto that what we found and then it's a combined effort then and that idea really takes hold so that's something that we're looking and we're really focused on on doing um the 10,000 Club is something I haven't touched on. The 10,000 Club uh, allows you to get these free drops. On the website, when it's up and running perfectly, there are a, or there is, a countdown. And the countdown will tell us when the next snapshot is taken. You have to have 10,000 JPEG tokens before that snapshot in your wallets, that native Stellar wallet, okay? And what happens then is a snapshot will be taken, ah, you have 10,000 JPEG tokens, and on the first of the month, the following month, you will get an airdrop of a cool uh, NFT. And for me, that's a great thing, just to receive one a month. We can get one, we got shocked the other week because one of the great artists here, Sir Cheesley, he dropped us one, we didn't even expect it, yeah? So it was just, was it? few days ago, in fact, just a few days ago, uh, Sir Cheesley um, dropped these uh, NFTs that he had created to everyone and we weren't expecting it. So you're going to be getting free art. Also, the, the um, mega, I can't, I can't even try and articulate it well enough, the, the huge uh, opportunity for you now is that in December, we have just heard they are bringing together a massive collection of artists yeah the people that are working in the art committee a massive collection of artists some of these are super super skilled people well they all are super skilled but some are just like mind-blowing when i see their art it's all obviously subjective isn't it art but when i see some of their art i think wow you know that needs to be on my like mantelpiece kind of thing and they are going to be doing 24 days of Christmas. You're going to be getting a minimum of another 26 between the time of recording this video and Christmas Day. You're going to be getting a minimum of 26 NFTs just for hodling. 10,000 JPEG tokens today at time of recording that is only around $270. $270 for all of these. Let's just use $260 for argument's sake and you're getting 26. That's 10 bucks a pop. 10 bucks a pop for high quality NFTs delivered to your wallet. Now, you can't even do a transaction on Ethereum for $10. Before you even got into the fact of, you know, you're going to be getting an NFT or paying the price of the NFT, you can't do the transaction because the gas cost is too high. In fact, you probably couldn't get, right, 10 of our NFTs or $100, right, for, for one um, transaction over on Ethereum. It's that expensive. Do you see how we are inclusive? We are trying to help the small person, right, build their, um, well, build their artistic, their art shop, show their gallery, showcasing their work. We're helping all of the steps of the way and rewarding those people. So even if they haven't got the funds to get that 10K, to get all of those um, NFTs, then we can help them with content creation to climb up and to ascertain that level. 
You can win and you can work and you can ascertain that level in a very fair and decentralized manner. And it's really exciting for me. It really is because I think, well, it's all, it's like a meritocracy, isn't it? If you bring something to the table, if you merit that reward, then great. If you're doing a video, if you're doing uh, some, some piece of artwork, if you're doing some sort of leadership or marketing contribution or coding or whatever it might be, then you're going to get rewarded for that. Brilliant. Okay, and finally, I want to touch on to the Lightmint platform. Lightmint is the number one NFT platform on the Stellar network. We can see here that the JPEG DAO has its own Lightmint store and we sell different um, uh, pieces of art here. You can see the JPUNKs. We can also see some of Sir Cheesley's design. We know that because of the monocle and the tash. There is a, uh, a piece of art here that's talking about the Protocol 18 upgrade that happened on November the 3rd. We can see all different sorts and we can also see these auctions happening. Look at the countdown clock. So we can get involved in auctions. We can buy pieces of art that are produced by the artists here at JPEG DAO. Also, we want to help people navigate Lightmint. Lightmint's one of the easiest NFT platforms out there. And may I add, one of the cheapest. It's, it's, it's a super, super cheap way to mint NFTs. Just, well, I think it's less than two bucks. Yeah, I'm not an artist, as I said, but I've been hearing that it's still, when I minted a couple, it was even less than one. But maybe it's a little bit more now and it's like just slightly over one dollar to mint a piece of artwork. And bearing in mind, some of these are selling for considerable prices. So there's profit to be made there. And this is borderless. You can be using Lightmint in many locations around the world. You can be creating your art. You can be you know, selling it on Lightmint and you can be making that profit in crypto that you can of course use in various other crypto applications but also to flip out into fiat currencies that you can get groceries, petrol and all sorts of other things. So we want to help elevate, as we said with the art committee, you know, the selection and cultivation right, of artists both in Stella and external to Stella. If you think that you've got the skills, I mean, the people skills, the HR skills to, you know, to speak to people, the interpersonal skills and bring them people into our fold, then let's do that. Because the more creative talent we bring in, the more the project can grow and develop throughout 2022. I hope that this has been an insight. I hope that it's been a, um, or sh shone a light on the JPEG DAO project for you. Uh, I hope that you choose to get involved with us and you are going to maybe comment underneath the video. But as I said, the main form that you need to pay attention to is included in the show notes. And that is how you can get involved, but also how you can apply to get funding from the DAO for your individual project. And you know, that's what we want to do. We want to support other people to realize their dreams, their goals and their aspirations. Uh, it's been a pleasure. The next video that I'm going to do for you, by the way, just so that you are well aware, is I'm going to talk you through the Light Mint platform. I'm going to teach you how easy it is, even from a non-artist, right? I think it's best coming from a non-artist. Uh, I've got about the creative talent to draw a stick man. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, but um, with that being said, I can take a PNG, JPEG, you know, an image file and I can, you know, I've done it myself. I've created um, an NFT. And I was like, wow, Ben, you've created the NFT. Shocked myself. So I'm going to help you do that. And it might be the fact that you're not an artist either, but you've got like some ideas that you want to create on one of the design platforms and start minting some NFTs and uh, getting some attention around your Light Mint shop. I'm going to help you do that, guys, in the next video. So until then, look after yourselves. Hope you've enjoyed it. Once again, leave a like or a comment underneath and um, I'll get back to you guys. Take care, all the best, and I'll speak to you soon.